Hi, I'm Coach Mike. Welcome to Change Your Body Boot Camps, year number 10. How about that? This is our 2018 Phase 2 Empowerment Week. This year we are going to substitute what was known as the Challenge Workouts, which was a different workout using the exercises from class to using the actual workout card. So for example, workout card from class. This is my workout card. We're going to do the workouts from class as written, but we'll substitute things like the medicine balls. If you don't have medicine balls at home, or you don't have a wall at home you can throw medicine balls at, or hurdles, if you don't have hurdles at home to jump, we'll substitute the things you don't have. If you don't have a pull-up bar, we'll substitute the pull-up bars. If you don't have a TRX, we'll substitute the TRX. So write everything on the workout card. This is the modified home version, so assuming you have none of the stuff that we have in boot camp, and this is what you'll do. You already know everything except for the substitutions. We're going to do it together so it'll be follow along. That's all you need. Now, if you're new to us, if you're not in boot camp, uh, we, we may or may not know each other, and you'd like to do this workout, first scan down in the description and see the exercises. Then get this equipment. So get your mat, get a roller if you have it, or a flat bench, or a, a coffee table. We're going to do an exercise called pullovers. So you need to lay on something flat. Uh, if you don't, you can just lay on the floor. That's OK. Ideally, if you could set up near a wall, that'd be great, because there is a wall exercise. So a roller, a roller, a mat, a pair of dumbbells, the recommended dumbbell load is 20 to 40 percent body weight. So these will be fast exercises, uh, interval workouts. So they're they're specific. If you don't have weights that are in that range, use what you got. Okay, do the best that you can. I have my water handy. I've got my workout card because I'm going to record what I do on here. Air horns mean go. Boxing bells mean stop. Uh, there's plenty of rest built in. Some exercises have level one, level two, level three. You choose the best level for you. If at any time you need to catch your breath, you just stop. Uh, if you're gonna take a long rest, maybe stop the video. If you need to stop the video right now to get all the things, go ahead and stop the video and then hit play when you come back. You're gonna see me doing this workout, so I'm drying out, but I'll probably be sweaty and wet later, so wet t-shirt contest, right? Let's do it, enough talking. First, this will be our core. We're gonna do side planks paired with dumbbell chops. So, uh, I'll show you this as we go, just so we can save time. First are side planks. Level one are bent knees, so knees bent, heads push back, ribs down, elbows under your shoulder, both fists clenched, hips push forward, Feet behind you so that you're in a straight line from your knees, through your hips. Get up as quick as you can, okay? Next, grab your dumbbell. If you have power blocks, hold the rungs. If you have a traditional dumbbell, hold it like a baseball bat. All right, reach right, chop left. Reach right, chop left. You're trying to get to five parallel. Every time. Side plank on the other side. Okay, elbows under your shoulder. Stick your chest out. Heads push back. So you want to feel the back of your neck. Ribs down. I like to swipe them to make sure they're hidden. Hips push forward. Both fists clench. Butt squeezed. Get up as quick as you can. Now, reaching left. Level two. Feet stacked. on there. Heads pulled back. Hips pushed forward. Glutes squeezed. Fists clenched. Okay. 
You want to get five parallel on the chops. Last round. Now I'm trying to get up as fast as I can, because that's what I coach in class. Okay, so in class, I have people track what they do by recording their, their level, level one or level two, their weights, their sets, we did three sets, their reps, uh, total reps, so you can track when you get a PR. For example, uh, I got a PR on my chops, on both, so hoorah. All right, next, we're gonna do T planks, plank T's, paired with hurdle hops. I'll show you the levels for each. High plank, feet wide, turn to the side of your feet, turn to the side of your feet. We'll do five per side. This is in place of the medicine ball side throws. Hips push forward. Hurdle hops. This is level one. Stand tall. 
Squat switch. Stand explosively. Step to the side. Step to the side. Okay. Other leg. Step to the side. Step to the side. Step to the side. Now we come back. Other leg. Step to the side. Step to the side. Step to the side. Come back inside. Step to the side. Step to the side. Step to the side. Okay, we'll call that level one A. Now, low plank, T's. Push your hips forward. Okay. If you're in an environment where you can hop, stick. 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 two levels of our side throws, so we'll only have two levels of the T's. Okay, level, level two, double bounces. We got three rounds. It's pretty good. It's kind of like what we get in class. Offset stance RDL. You need a dumbbell. Pull ups. So if you have a pull up bar, you want to get ready for the pull ups. I like trapezerigging.com. I like their pull up bar uh, because it breaks down in 90 seconds, sets up in 90 seconds. You know, it can slide under your bed, under, behind a wall. It's so compact. Long, but compact. Like three, like three and a half feet long when it's broken down. Um, you need your roller though if you don't have a pull-up bar for pullovers. You need two dumbbells. Now you need the wall for facing wall slides, like in the warm-up. If there, little test. 
if you can't keep your hands, your forearm, your upper arm, on the ground, all the way up and all the way down, and keep your chin tucked, and your ribs down, and your low back. You'll do the facing wall slides. Okay, so let's get ready. We're gonna do three rounds. Each exercise, you'll have 30 seconds of work, 20 seconds to rest. Right heel, left toe, hands behind your head, hips push back, hips push forward, hips push back, hips push forward. This is level one. Hips push back, you want flat back, stick your chest out, hips push forward. Okay, keep going. I'll just do it, it's only five seconds. Okay, pullovers. Now, line your roller, get a dumbbell. If it's too difficult to get on the roller, lie on the floor. If you have a flat match, use the flat match. Make a triangle with your hands on the head of the dumbbell. Touch, reach, touch. Chin's tucked, low back's down. If you have a short roller, keep your butt bridged. Make sure your neck and head are supported. In your upper back. If it's uncomfortable, again, lie on the floor. Goblet squat. Level one, hands behind your head. It's a long rest. <laughs> Knees push open, stand and squeeze your butt. slides. If you don't have the wall, use the floor. It's always right foot forward, ribs down, neutral grip. So not palms down, neutral. one round. Here we go, round two. Okay, level two means your dumbbell weighs less than 20% body weight. I'm uh, working my left leg. On my left heel, right toes down. If you're on your left heel, the dumbbell's in your right hand.
Goblet squats. Level two goblet squat means your dumbbell weighs less than 20% body weight. Level three means it is 20% body weight. Elbows pinned. Two rounds. Last round plus a set. <sighs> right heel, left hand. Six per two every time. Goblet squats.
Okay, use the plus one. got base running. So let's march. Okay, that's 20. Now let's do arm drive. Sit tall. 20. March overhead. So those are 10 per side. These are uh, 20 per side. If you can skip in your environment, skip. Back to arm drive. Try to keep your toes touching, chest tall.
Try knee run. Because these will be faster. Let's see. 20 per side. Try high knee runs, arms overhead, 20 per side. So, I wrote D1 conditioning times 13 sets times 4.5 minutes. And then I made a note of what I did. So I called it high knee runs plus 